Victoria, BC, and you're watching what I'm doing right now. We're using the Panasonic DVX 200 for the first time. Well, I guess you guys used it with Hank the other day, right? And Caitlin, yeah. And Caitlin. So I'm the third person to use it. <laughs> it is four in the morning. I have been working on this video for like 11 hours straight. And you stopped in the middle to take an exam. Oh, I guess that's true. Not 11 hours straight. I worked on it from like 5 p.m. to about 10 p.m., so five hours straight. And then I took a break to finish a computer science exam. And then as soon as I finished that, I started working on this again, and I just finished it. I'm not sure if people are gonna find it interesting, but I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks like a movie. A real life movie. I agree, it does look like a movie. I want to show you one thing that I did. It'll give you a little, a little bit of insight into uh, the kind of detail that I've been agonizing over for the past eleven-ish hours. Watch this shot for a second. To require home base Montana to actually follow through. Did you notice anything weird about it? Hopefully not. In what actually happened, she sort of goofed up the word Montana when she said it. Home base Montana to actually follow through. But I found that distracting in the context of this video, so I went and found another place where she said the word Montana and just dropped in the Tana part into this clip. So right here is her original Tana. And then that's the one that I dropped in there. Home base Montana to actually follow through. It's movie magic. <laughs> you're so sly. This is why even if you're watching a documentary, I guess especially if you're watching a documentary, this is why you should always question everything you see on TV, on the internet. It's really easy to make things different than how they actually were. Especially if you're Michael <laughs> I do it all the time. Okay, but can we leave this place now? <laughs> it's funny that you don't have a car because you can't go anywhere unless I take you. But that means that if you go to Burger King, you can take me with you. I was just reading in the newspaper that this building right here, it used to be a Firestone, but they're gonna knock that building down and build a uh, four-story condominium complex. Excited. I don't know if that's any better. Anyway, I slept for, I don't know, six hours. Wasn't terrible. Now I'm headed to the school where the annual fitness competition thing that I don't remember the name of is happening. If you were watching the vlogs last year, uh, I went down there when Claire was competing to see what it was all about. She's competing again this year, so I'm gonna go down there, say hello, and check out all of the very orange people. Go Claire Bear! sort of forgotten how tremendously weird these competitions are. The whole thing is just so objectifying of, of someone's body. Like, you, the, the point is to stand up on stage and be judged for how you look. So much of the uh, conversation in our culture these days revolves around, you know, people are more than their bodies. Just a weird thing. It's hard for me to tell what is good and what is bad as far as the fitness competition is concerned. So to me, it looked like Claire did fine, but she was not as happy with her performance. She was feeling a little bit down about it after she came back off the stage, so I didn't feel like sticking a camera in her face. But there's the second half of this thing happens later tonight, so... Maybe she'll say hello to the vlog. Last year there was a, a bird that built a nest in there and then had some chicks. And the evidence suggests that there's, there's more nest building going on. And that makes the kitties really excited. I've seen the birds landing on the railing here a couple times. I just hope we don't end up with any 
dead chicks again. That was kind of sad. So with this fitness competition thing, they judge everybody in the morning, then there's a break, and then they have the awards ceremony in the evening. Knowing that the awards ceremony was gonna take a long time, and Claire's thing is at the very end of the awards ceremony, I got here like two and a half hours after the event started this evening. They're still not even close to Claire's class. So I'm just sort of taking this opportunity to go on a little walk around campus, it's really nice out here. The weather's perfect. It's kind of quiet. Just a few people scattered around. Blair <laughs> Prozer is up next. From Scenic Street to Grand Street, 21 years old. She lives in Muscle, Montana. That's Claire Grosner. All right, ladies, go ahead and wave to the crowd, if you will. File off stage to your left. Claire Grosner. Hi. Good? Hi. Bad? <laughs> Not great. So she didn't place in the top five. Do you feel like you're going to do this again next year? Yeah, probably. Uh, I might try and do one in the fall. I don't know. Some people are saying I should do figure or fitness instead of bikini. So, I don't know. I want to do it again, but I also would like to do better. It just sucks because I did so much better this time, like body, fat-wise, weight-wise, everything it was a lot better, but... Your hand is so black. It's not black, it's green. I have green fingers, too. Now how do you guys get that off? They always shower. Do. It does come off in the shower a lot. Yeah, look at my arm. Welcome to Sunday. We're at the mall because Todd needed video games. I got my video games. I actually got a free book. A free book? I got a free book. It's that. The guy, the high guy, told me that this was the game to try, so I've got to do that. I yeah. got a pretzel. Mm. I enjoyed playing them, but I don't have a PS3 anymore, so. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Michael. Yes, sir. How has your Saturday been? It's your, it's your Sunday. So far. Uh, it's been kind of sleepy. I wouldn't mind taking a nap now, actually. It's either that or find some caffeine. I'm just feeling a little like... <laughs> you're always still in that mood. That's true. I don't sleep enough. Well, you, you do sleep enough. It's just you're not getting enough rest. I don't, uh, I don't think I sleep enough. I don't think you sleep enough. This is a very interesting paint job. Yep. I wonder how on purpose this was. What if it was the result of a boyfriend having cheated on his girlfriend <laughs> And, and his girlfriend was like, was like yeah. I'll show you with colored paints on your white car. And he's like, hey, this works. 